What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to easily build a simple table editor in Python with a graphical user interface, almost like a minimalistic Excel clone using a package called pandas table. So let us get right into it. All right, so this is really going to be a super simple tutorial in this video today, we're going to work with an external Python package called pandas table, and it's going to allow us to easily build a simple table editor with a graphical user interface in Python. Now the idea is we're going to build our graphical user interface with TK enter the core Python package, and then this pandas table package introduces a new component or a new widget, you could say, to the GUI called the table and it works basically like a very, very minimalistic version of Excel. So we have the ability to add rows to change the content of files to import and export uh, to filter to aggregate and to sort and so on. So it's a very minimalistic version of a uh, sheet application, you could say, even though it doesn't have nearly as much functionality, but it's a very easy way to do that. And you don't really have to do much coding, you just have to add the component to your application, which is why I say it's going to be a very simple video. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our command line, and we're going to install the packages that we need. Uh, so we're going to use pip or pip three install, and then obviously pandas if you don't have it on your system yet. And second, pandas table the package that is going to give us this uh, widget. Now what we're going to do in our code is we're going to say import TK enter as TK, this is core Python, then import pandas as PD and from pandas table, we want to import the table. Now, we're going to model our application as a class, I'm going to call this here table editor, and we're going to provide a simple init method. Here, we're going to define a root element. So the root is going to be a TK instance, we're going to set a title, let's call this just table editor. And now what we need to do is we need to add to this root window a frame and into this frame, we need to add the table, we cannot add the table directly into the window, we need to first create a frame. So we're going to say self dot frame is equal to TK frame part of self dot root. then self dot frame is going to be packed. And then we're going to say self dot table is equal to table. And here now we can provide a couple of things. Now, first of all, of course, it's part of the frame. But then we can also provide a default, um, a default data frame. So we can say that the data frame is some data frame, or we can just leave it as none. So this is also possible, we can just create the table, I can say self table show and then self dot root main loop to run the application. Then I can go down here and say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals then main. If that's the case, create an instance of table editor. And this will already result in our application uh, showing this table editor tool here. However, you can see we cannot really do a lot. We don't have any data in here. We don't have any buttons that we can work with. So what we can do right away is we can go ahead and we can say that we want to enable two things We want to show the status bar. So show status bar true. And we want to show the toolbar, which has all the functionality. So I can run this. And now you can see we don't have any data yet. But we still have or we already have uh, buttons here, load a table, we can save, we can import CSV, we can load an Excel file, we can copy the table to clipboard, we can paste the table, we can do um, operations like transposing, aggregating, and so on. We can merge, concatenate, join, we can filter, we can do calculations, we can fit models. Uh, we can do a lot of things visually here just by adding the pandas table component. Now, what we can do is we can define a sample data frame up here, let's call this sample DF, it's going to be a PD data frame. Uh, let's just add some data here, column one, we'll have the values, one, two, three. <clears throat> then maybe column two, column three, let's use your A, B, C. And then down here, maybe something like four or five, six. So now I can set this as the default data frame, I can say data frame equals and then sample DF. 
And then you can see we have the data here. Now, of course, I can change it. I can change this to six, for example, probably I have to press enter. Uh, and then I can save this. For example, I can say save, I can navigate to my documents directory, where is it? I have a lot of hidden directories here. Documents, programming, neural nine, Python, current. And here, of course, I can save it as a pickle file, but I can also go to all files and I can say data.csv. And this will automatically save it as a CSV file, as you can see here. And um, it will also save the six, not the five. So it saved the edited version. And this is just a simple example, right? I can do a lot of more things. I can add rows. Um, I can I can change values. I can uh, transpose. There you go. I can transpose the whole uh, data frame. I can aggregate uh, on different columns with different functions here. Uh, I don't want to go through all the features, but basically you have this sort of minimalistic, uh, I don't like to call it actually Excel clone because you don't have these uh, operations. I think you cannot do stuff like equals and then some formula, but you do have basic table editing and basic sheet manipulation functionality here. Uh, let me see where, where was the possibility to plot? I can, oh, actually open it on my second screen. So I plotted four, six, six, and you can see now here, column three, and then it plotted this. Uh, maybe I can also do it like this plot selected, opens it up here again. No, actually, now it doesn't show it on the x axis. Uh, but we have a bunch of different uh, options here for styling and animation. This is basically pandas in a graphical user interface, and you can just add it to your application easily and build a simple table editor for yourself using this pandas table package. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.